50 seconds of age rating. I'm not sure if the age rating is for this upcoming trailer or for the really I bad think it's for EDM everything. It's like right ratings now. are all of the ratings. Here we go. Sizzle reel. I saw that car clip through that foliage. You can't get that past me. Oh, no. We've gone full Ubisoft. Oh, no. No. No, you guys. No. Not like this. What? What, what have you done, America? And why? Yet another story mode for a sports game. And Is Andrew Wilson a real human being or a robot? We're just not 100% sure. Last year, we went out on a limb. Tried to do something a little different with a view to changing the way you interact with products before they launch. You did? To do something what exactly? Massive innovation and story. Massive innovation. Yes, it's what EA is known for on a regular basis. Yes. And we got a lot of feedback. <laughs> yes, you did. A lot of it positive. We've addressed all of the feedback. I uh, all doubt of it, it really? very much. These are all the guys who Let's wish celebrate. that they had stayed at the free bar at the back. Oh, that who's, lighting, who's this? I'm standing inside the Creator Cave at EA Play, where you are the, the Creator the, Cave. The, to the Creator Cave. <laughs> what what is inside the Creator Cave? They've captured streamers, held them hostage. They will never escape. In Battlefield, they're fed on a diet of the remnants of Bullfrog. Oh no! Aww. We're being cool in YouTube. You know what? We predicted this on the Co-optional podcast this year. That at least did I did. Oh. That, that this would oh, yeah, yeah, that this would be did. the year you of did. the fake yes. YouTube nonsense. Uh, and right away, they front loaded with it. Yeah, <sighs> these are real people that totally believe this. My most memorable moments is what I do with my community. A my most memorable moment was when I received my first check from EA Ronku. I'll never be able to do that again in my life. I'll never be able to do that again in my life. Never. All of these reactions are entirely natural and not as all over exaggerated. We say this as we react to EA's conference. <laughs> Hypocrisy is a phenomenal business model. And you're tuning in. Incredible. Great, because what Battlefield 1 needed more was less visibility. I can't see shit the video game did not need night maps. <laughs> it's like, I already can't see what I'm shooting at. It's now twice the fun. Now enough of me. He made it to the Fat Championship Finals. In the Fat, <laughs> sorry, the Fat Championship. I, it was a little bit of a Freudian slip on your part, wasn't it? All right, we're here. I want to hear some sick burns. I wonder if we're going to see a handshake. Nope, not going to see it. Oh! The disrespect! This is what competitive gaming's all about. I like that belt, though. I'd hit someone with a steel chair for that belt. Uh, this? Uh, uh, this sick oh, way, okay. though. Okay. Right. Okay. It's applause. I, right. I was gonna say, please applaud. <laughs> <laughs> please? <laughs> football, 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 football. Uh, oh my. This is our obligatory quirky bit. Oh, oh yes, my. we're very, very funny. Football. We're not a soulless corporate machine. <laughs> Look at my boobs. It could be racist, we don't know. What? John, does your experience with FIFA run so deep? It runs so deep. Look at how the world comes to This is the yeah, we're gonna pretend that this, this is completely you. fake yeah. person is real. Sure. Oh look! They they got more YouTubers and streamers in on this as well. <laughs> I also watch the YouTubers. This is totally relatable. Yeah, I, I'm a person that watches YouTube. I want in on this product now. This is taking a while to get to video games. They teased us a little bit. It's like, oh, look, it's a video game. It's already out, but it's an expansion for a video game. Now, all of this. This is the fun part, right? Because this is the fun part. I'm no, no, no. What are what? you doing? Yeah, it's a great game. Sounds yeah, great what game. we really want to need for Speed game is the narrative. I'm sorry, when I remember Need for Speed being great, as in Need for Speed Underground, you and didn't have a name. Na narrative was irrelevant. You know what's good? Getting a Ford hatchback and putting the biggest fucking spoilers and spinners and neons that you possibly can on it, and doing drifts and races in the streets as fast as possible. The narrative, the characters were completely irrelevant. The car was your character. It's about making an awesome. Yet shitty car. Like that. I want to drive that. <laughs> this is what we're looking at. This is good. 
at 1.30 on the stream if you want to come back. No, I do no, not. I have no, no, no desire. No, no. Why don't you show us some hard, gameplay hard now? Pass, hard pass. Hard pass on coming back. Don't Sorry. get out of the... Look, go, move to the right so I can see what he's doing. Cutscenes in the middle of my race. That is exactly what I was looking for in my racing experience. Thank God we finally got there. Please tell me that's not another cutscene. They just put that in for the sake of the trailer. Because having your race constantly interrupted by that would be unbelievably irritating. Patrick's back. All right. Here we go. Obligatory indie bit. A way out. Just what the audience has been looking for for the past 30 minutes. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Interested. Oh, no. EA's got their grubby mitts yeah, on this. Yeah, oh, yeah. no. Ah, uh, come on. Get His thought process got stuck in the creator you cave. You're going to be able to play everything. I mean, not everything, but a lot of stuff. But you just said Maybe everything, and then you said not everything. I don't know what to believe. Action. You're going to be able to do everything with the exception of no. most things. But let me tell you this. These poor suckers who went to the EA conference last year. Well, you have to be de-loused before going into the EA conference, you know. Vincent and Leo are now in the laundry room. To be fair, knowing a few of the E3 crowds, that probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. mandatory even. No, that was our goodwill. Hey, we love you guys. Yeah, th 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 yeah there's the uh, token indie sprinkling in the middle of the, the Search for Extraordinary Experiences division. That sounds like... An evil future megacorp. Yeah. It sounds like it could be the, the plot of like the next Bioshock. New, I'm sorry, did, you, did you say neural network? Oh, okay, now I'm just terrified. It's AI, yo. This is Skynet. All right. Yeah. And EA's the one controlling it. It's been an honor, gentlemen. Spread your seed with EA. Oh, brand new. Okay, brand new IP from Bioware. All right. So, all right, so we've got 25 seconds of. This is new IP. Let's have more sports. We're not quite done with the sports. So we see Zaza coming over. This is exactly what I wanted. A turn-based strategic NBA game. <laughs> That's what it's all about. The dead eyes. The thousand-yard stare. And those eyes are terrifying. Staring through and past your soul. Penetrating walls, ceilings, solid steel. Oh, you can unlock very expensive shoes. Four or five mentions the word iconic. One more in your Ubisoft. Innovation still leading at least by three to one, though. How about that for some passion? <laughs> We're applauding his... his, his <laughs> no, one no one else has emotions in the creator cave. Only one. We brought him in for this special occasion. And anti-bullying organizations, the Pacer Center, and Ditch the Label. We... No? Okay. <laughs> oh, you don't want to applaud charity? Okay. One, uh, one person is in favor of anti-bullying. Everyone else is kind of all right it's like with Emma it. like Emma Watson in the middle of the crowd. Yeah. You can tell the pained look on his face when he mentions the word free. It's like... It's too hard. These are the most polite pieces of feedback they could find. I was going to say, this can't be Twitter. This That's all I'm saying. Who's the one in the middle? I don't remember oh. her from Star Wars. Oh, she's in the she's in the battlefront. She's yes. the protagonist. I'm, I'm also an advocate for in-depth cinema caliber story in games. You are? Oh, my. <laughs> when can we play a Star Wars story? We don't want to just this has never happened before. <laughs> there has never been a single player Star Wars experience. Only now. She seems surprisingly pissed off about the fact this is happening. We loved the previous Battlefront of 2015. So let's hear more from them about their time at DICE. We're not letting you out of the room unless you give positive feedback. So better make it snappy, kids. I'm really excited to let the Game Changers get their hands on the game. This is the Game Changers. So you focused on a single player campaign. You're and showing now the you're multiplayer. Show the, I don't understand your thought process. process. That makes no logical sense. We'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Star Wars Battlefront, the wise? I thought not. <laughs> Now this is conferencing. You two personality, I Justine. Thank I God. Will. 39 game changers ready to go. Head to head. Game changers, that I cannot deal with. That, that is beyond buzzwords. That is a new level.
Um, and Luke. I can't wait to be We've in the seen all the other characters, with you guys but at the next No, it, it's too important to be in the creator cave. It smells in there. Star Wars Battlefront 2, but can he then be a Captain game changer? And... Oh, no, you've got to be a very special person to be a game yeah. changer. On top what, of that, Brave Beast knows of Sweden? I, I, like, what? <laughs> Indeed, make a pilgrimage to the top of Mount Origin. Make a sacrifice of the remains of Bullfrog. You know what's kind of getting me, though, is that she's acting like an advocate for the player base like they heard our feedback like you're being paid for this that <laughs> you're not our advocate yoda's epic lightsaber mastery star card uh which is what what was that dude essential star wars story i'm sorry but if you actually pre-order battlefront 2 then i've got a bridge to sell you after the last one assault on feed we're ready to show you guys assault on your senses yes droids thank god that's i just I could not. Hey, Gomboy doing his job. Stay engaged without the ability to play a freaking Roger Roger comedy droid thing. My boy, Darkness, aka Dankness. NBA Live! Yay! What? Apparently, they're the clone troopers. There's a big crossover between NBA and Battlefront 2 this year. I mean, they said new environments. They said they were going to take it to the streets, but the streets of the. What? The streets of Naboo. You get to pre order and get your Adidas trainer DLC for your droid. You get your Air Jordans. You get to bounce 20% higher in this game. Crash into a tower! There you go. There. Now we're, Now it's Battlefront. Realistic. Yeah, this is what I expected out of real Battlefront gameplay. Blows my mind that they're showing this and not the campaign, which people... It's like, this is the this major is, selling yeah, point of the, the game, the campaign. The you buy this, but, but we're but not going to show you any of that. It's probably not done yet, so... Well, I'd like to see anything that would allow for any sort of team play here, because in the last one, there was basically no emphasis on that at all. There's but no... they're in the creator cave. They've got to be... Like, Our game changers are working as a team. Uh, Would yes. a random puppy be able to work as a team without the power of the game changers? I think not. We got, you know, white boy there. Oh, there's white boy dying again, just like his career. Guy who's playing this is having a blast. Guys who are dying to him. That, that, that was like what? It, just an instant straight up kill there that you could not have avoided in any way. It's infuriating. Now this is just making me want a new Jedi Knight. Now, there she goes. Fallen by a Killed by, by a, a B1. Droid. That is oh, embarrassing. That is really embarrassing. Cool. So we just saw a slightly shinier version of Battlefront 1 with different eras. Give I, us the visceral game. I already just don't want to play it. You know, I got a good night's sleep last night and I'm already feeling a little tired. I wonder why. I was just gushing for now. You know, like we did, the game looks good. I'm glad you're gushing because well, we got to. are so dry. <laughs> Uh, very much dry as a bone. We've got a chance for you guys to win a trip to Gamescom in Germany this August. We've got a chance to win a trip to the better convention. Yay. Are we getting anything else? Thank you, everyone. And thank you to the real rock stars of this The show. people at Visceral. The game. The cre what are they again? You are truly amazing. Huh? The game changes. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah. And the show still real? Eh? Yeah. A trailer for Galaxy of Heroes. What? With no sound, what? apparently. You guys didn't buy the John Williams DLC, <laughs> apparently did you? Apparently <laughs> not. What an end to a conference. What a wonderful end. It's fucking ah, nothing. They... At the Galaxy of Heroes booth where nobody is. Spend some money. Trust me, this trailer's going to make the game look far more exciting than it actually is. Okay, maybe it won't. Well, we got to see about three seconds of Admiral oh, Thrawn buffing a Stormtrooper, and that was it. Wow. The community wants to know, how can we wreck faces? <laughs> Do very well in PvE, but ultimately still function as a beast inside raids, so. So tell me, how is he a beast in raids? Hang on, it, it can function inside PvE, but, but still be good at PvE. Yeah, so he is the incredible. Yeah, Even as a person that actually here, plays this game, this is sending me to sleep. Uh, what an incredible way to cap off the Star Wars portion of the show. No new announcement, no visceral, and only multiplayer gameplay of Battlefront that we didn't care about in the first place. Brilliant. Oh, this is the trailer we've already seen. 
Epic cock chasers, apparently, according to the caption right there. Now I'm interested, yeah. He's the ultimate professional action hero. And then we've got Mac. He's going to be providing... I wonder how one applies for the position of ultimate professional action hero. I heard it's called being a girl in a racing game. Do you need work experience? You are the worst driver. You have a controller. What are you doing? You're not even mouse and keyboarding this. So come on, you have no excuse. Stay on the road! You what is wrong with you? I am really enjoying the improved controls <laughs> that, uh, that Need for Speed Payback are debuting here at, uh, at E3. Press X to crash into barrier. I mean, did you put points into that skill or...? This is, that's not driving off-road, that's hopeless. It, driving into everything possible. Press A to use... Oh, don't use nitrous. Oh, no, do not do that. Didn't know they'd hired Polygon to demonstrate this game. Ooh. He uses uh, street racing skills to carve his way through uh, traffic. Based on what happened prior to this, I don't think we're going to be using any elite street racing skills to do anything. We pride ourselves on having heroic driving physics that are really peckable. <laughs> heroic. <laughs> heroic One driving word. physics. The best way I've found to take them down is to crash into things in the environment, like using those. Yeah, I mean, this guy's great at that. <laughs> Come back later if you want to hear the wrap up at the end of this. We came back later. Uh, and we regret doing so. We're gonna present it to you. Really challenging AI right there. Mm. He just gave up. That's it, let him catch up. There you go, sounds great. That looks terrible. Oh, lovely, we're back to a trailer I've already seen. Awesome. When is this going to actually stop? <laughs> let us out of the creator cave. I can't, we can never leave the creator cave. We didn't ask to go in the creator cave. Nobody asks to be let into the creator cave. Uh, Let's wrap this damn yeah. thing. I'm, All right, I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm quite, done. quite this finished. Is... Yeah, uh, enough. Thank you. It, please. Right, there we go. Let's put some music on. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> God damn it. I just can't. We will take your thanks now in form of a comment in I the chat. I can't do anymore. It's too much. I, I mean, I feel like at this point, they want us to pay them to stop their <laughs> EA conference. Yeah. Please let um, us out of the creator cave. It's like, y'all ain't going to do season pass for Battlefront, so you need us to pay you to make all this stop and go away. <sighs> I, that is maybe the most boring E3 conference I have ever seen. And I've seen a lot of E3 conferences. And we're conferences. just getting started. This is day one. Oh my, there's four more of these to do. That They've set the bar low, I'll give them that. Mm -hmm. That was more, that was even duller than last year's EA conference. And that didn't have a lot going for it. At that, ton of sport, which we knew was happening. Yeah. Uh, what annoyed me more about the sport is that they didn't just confine it to one section, it kept coming back. It kept infecting the rest of the conference. Like, no, we just got done with the sport. You know, you open up with, hey, here's a bunch of sport. There's going to eventually be that damn DLC for Battlefield that should have been out months ago. Here's a bunch yeah. more sport. Oh, and they completely dodged FIFA for Switch. And I, I love it. I, Why do you I, keep okay. bringing that up? Okay, so for FIFA 18, they're not going to have it for Switch. Okay, and they're, why? Okay, because because of its because they put it on Frostbite, so they're only bringing it out on Xbox One and PS4. Yeah. Which it lacks the journey. Um. So basically, they for an old gen console or the Switch because they're going to make a one specifically for the Switch. They were actually initially going to call it FIFA Switch or you know something okay. like that. So they're gonna have to make it on something that's not Frostbite. They're making it for the Switch because Switch can't handle Frostbite right now. Not at the, not, they can't handle it in its current form. Okay. So basically they are gonna sell you a game that isn't complete. It doesn't have the biggest showcase point that they've been making here the entire time, which is the journey. I mean, I can't so, say I'm massively surprised. The history of FIFA, uh, FIFA and anything like EA Sports wise on Nintendo consoles over the last 10 years has no, been no, awful. No, but that's the whole thing. That is my problem. It's like, we want all your money, but not if you play Nintendo, because people who play Nintendo don't play sports games. Yeah, they play better games. But I love how they just dodge the entire thing. Like, 
we're not even going to talk about like the new one that we're making for Switch. I mean, because Switch we don't didn't come be... up at any point. No, no, no. This no. I know, I know, I know. Anyway, and... I mean, I don't think many people care too much about that. Okay, well, I'm just saying, like, I care because it's like the situation where they did like uh, Arkham Origins. It didn't have multiplayer, so let's make it a little bit cheaper. Yeah, one well, of those years ago. I, the, the, the the sort of late ports. The thing about the Switch is the late ports. Are all... I have problems when it's a new console. Yeah, it's, it's okay to do the late ports for the Switch because it, you can take those games and go portable with them, which you couldn't do previously. But with the Wii U, it was a waste of time. Anyway, back to you know what he actually showed. The only thing that really sort of interested me about that, of course, was that new the Hazelight game. You know, that seemed like it could be interesting. I am intrigued to play that, but. Outside of that, it's like, what else have you got? And the answer is, you've got nothing. Well, that's... Absolutely nothing. The one thing we wanted to see, Battlefront, you didn't show us. Visceral Star Wars is nowhere to be found. And they didn't even talk about the third title, so... Yeah. But I kind of didn't expect them to talk about the third title because I figured they wouldn't have anything to show. And if they did have a new IP, then that tidbit would take the place of their usual tidbit spot. So that made more sense. And honestly, I am more interested in the new IP than I am about the third Star Wars game at this point in time, <laughs> look, because it's closer to being possibly Look at these silly looking people. Yay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, th this is what you're missing. Anyway, the the Bioware thing, there's a new Bioware thing, 20 seconds of nothing. The and most exciting never thing in the conference, again. and that's kind of it. It's just like, phew. Yeah, basically no information on it. We couldn't pay anyone from Bioware to actually, like, you know, show up, so... Mm. We're still trying to fix Andromeda's animations. <laughs> yeah, that was a snore fest. What can I say? What else does that I, even say I, about I, it? I don't know. Um, I guess kind of it was EA. What do you expect? You deserve this because you tuned in knowing that it was They EA. always set the bar I, low. I don't know. Yeah. The, um, blame the creator cave. Yeah, it's the creator cave's fault. And blame the game the changes. Blame the game changers. They didn't change the games. No. We had one job. Change the games. And you couldn't even do that. Like the only exciting thing for me in Need for Speed Payback, the M5, which they were supposed to debut in the game. It was in the trailer uh, before the Frankfurt show because the car's not even out yet, not even like a first look. Like Yay. they didn't even highlight that for the customization. I was waiting for that. I was like, show me the customization for the M5. No, we ain't gonna show you that. Bioware Bio no. said, build the wall and we'll make EA pay for it. And that was about it. <sighs> and of course, you know, the YouTuber shilling was on a level, which was We know you guys irritating. are watching this stream. Therefore you watch streams. Guess who also streams? streams. This guy. And no. you know, they, they've been getting the YouTube folks into the studio a lot, just like, hey, come play our games, be special. You can put this footage out before anybody else. It's totes not biased in any way. I already did. And I was like, okay. I've yeah. gone crazy on this whole personalization. It's like, oh, you don't, we want you to not play an unnamed driver anymore. We want you to be a character. The we, narrative know, focus of Need for Speed is just dumb. But it, no, it's across opinion. all games. It's across all games. Yes, yeah, like, I actually right. You're totally you right. Know, yeah. Oh my gosh, you know, we want you to be this dude in FIFA. And all the want, sports games. Yeah. We want this to be here for you in the new Madden. Like, I, mm -hmm. I, this whole personal, I, I just want to jump in a game and not give any, you know, uh, what, what happened to those games? They, they're gone. Apparently, you don't get them from EA anymore. Not anymore. All right, well, that's about it. At least they kept the cringe to a minimum, but I'm sure Ubisoft will be able to top that. But at least with Ubisoft, there's something interesting. You know, you can yeah. laugh at it or <laughs> be surprised by it. In the case of this, this was the driest nonsense ever. And the attempt to connect on a oh, more personal and real level with by including all of these streamers and YouTube folks just fell flat on its face it, it felt forced and artificial which is exactly what i describe ea's lineup as at the moment it's just so uninspired but join us tomorrow for the uh, microsoft conference well apparently they're going to be showing a bunch more ea stuff at the microsoft conference we can't even get away from it there bethesda of course late night on that one starting at almost midnight and then Ubisoft, <laughs> always the fun one. That's uh, going to be on Monday, and then the Sony conference later on in the evening. That was that. I did promise you a supercut of this. I can't even think of a single interesting moment to supercut. Maybe I go through the whole thing and find the word innovation as many times as I can and just put that up. Oh. Okay. That that was unwatchable. <laughs> I'm just bored stiff. I, just, I don't know. Like I feel like I just need to apologize for this entire conference. We are really sorry you had to yeah. watch that. 
I just, I wish that EA hadn't decided we're going to disappoint all y'all before E3 even starts. And Set that bar as low as possible. I mean, I can only imagine that other conference attendees who have to make a presentation are hyped as mm, right about now uh, about their announcements all because right. this is garbage. Yeah. All right, we're done. Thank you very much for watching the show, folks. I'm going to set up a rerun a couple of minutes after this. Please if you missed don't any of it, watch it. Watch it again. <laughs> it's been done. So come back Sunday, folks, on Microsoft and Bethesda conferences. There's your timers on the screen right now. Check out twitch.tv slash totalbiscuit slash events. That has all of the conferences set there. You can just click follow and the Twitch will remind you when it's about to go live. Really handy feature now. Twitch.tv TV slash Total Biscuit slash events is the place to go for that. If you're a subscriber, the VODs are available immediately. Not that I could oh, possibly gosh. imagine a reason why you'd want to watch it. We're done. We're P gone. Please Thank come you. back tomorrow. <laughs> After It'll that, be better. I, I promise. You can't promise that. I but, can't. Just goodbye. No.